to the two-minute special, Romeo and Juliet, The True Story. The catastrophic love story may not be as tragic as Shakespeare once told. Is this the real Romeo and Juliet? You be the judge. Now we bring you to a special with the nurse's family members. My mother told me that Angelica would go on and on about Romeo and Juliet not being dead. They just left because of Romeo's banishment. My great-great-cousin, Nurse Angelica, went insane after the tragic story. Our family moved to Britain to hide our shame. Everyone said she was insane, but I truly believe her ramblings about Romeo and Juliet being alive were true. So, James, is your friar Lawrence's relative? Yes, he was my great, 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 great. Great, 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 great uncle. And he told stories of Romeo and Juliet? He told that amazing story every time he could, except the ending was much different. How so? He had always said that Juliet awoke right as Romeo entered the tomb. He also ended his story drinking about Shakespeare. How did you hear all this from him? <clears throat> um, he actually wrote a letter that passed down over 20 generations. Thank you for your time. This concludes our Romeo and Juliet special broadcast. We hope this showed you the true Romeo and Juliet, and we hope to see you next week. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't know that's why you're waving your fingers at me. You can't be texting. We hope this showed you the real, real, no. <laughs> So, James, your friend Lawrence's nephew. He said that Juliet entered the. <laughs> 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 sorry. I'm waiting. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. Any moment. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 no, that's in the camera. <laughs> oh, sorry. 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 Oh, sorry.